Well, on the superficial and the silly, where does that arrogance actually come from? I don't know. I actually can't figure it out. But I do know that they mindlessly form media mobs. In the past, they have gone after many, many innocent people and seen them put in jail. Is it any wonder why 60% of this country has very little trust in the media? Very little at all. Think about some of their mistakes, huh? We mentioned putting innocent people in jail. What about the Iraq war? Weapons of mass destruction? The New York Times helped bring on the Iraq war. Of course, we've showed you the clips of the 2016 campaign, the run-up. They got every single thing wrong about that election. And I believe they've gotten just about every single thing wrong about the 2020 election. And now they're telling us that Hunter Biden might be in trouble, but they didn't want to tell us that before the election. Now they're telling us that there is no election fraud. With that kind of track record, and you saw the numbers, and absolutely no correction, no contrition from these folks, why would we start believing them now?